Hi everybody, welcome back. Boys and girls, we play some Rainbow Royalty with our jungle aristocracy. So, in the last episode, uh, as I have explained, um, I started uh, uh, creating a kitchen and uh, a freezer, so... Oh shit, sorry. We have some problems with fire already. Uh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. I go ahead. So I want to create here the uh, a stop a stockpile area for food and everything that can spoil. And uh, I will use the generator, the wood fire generator, which at the moment is indoor. I'm not sure if it's the best idea, but anyways, to create here a very very cold area. So now we can use the refrigerator to go to. I think minus five is the minimum. Let's see till where it reaches. And we create here an area which we would call, call uh, the frozen, fro ah, frozen stockpile. And here we call it uh, rename uh, stockpile generic one. Okay, in the stockpile generic one, we will just uh, st say that the priority is okay, but food is not allowed. And uh, also corpses are not allowed. Okay, fine. In the stockpile frozen, we say that the priority is uh, preferred, and nothing is allowed except except of food, not rotten, and corpses only if they are animal, but not insects. This will work. Fine. Now we should see soon. Uh, we should see the temperature indoor dropping uh, below zero and then we have finally our supply stockpile and that's kind of good. Uh, we are going to move this butcher table, butcher table here, butcher or the butcher, I don't know. I think it depends on where you live, right? I think in Britain they would say butcher, but <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, we move the table now in this room, we'll, we move also a lamp create also a lamp in the in, in the in the cell and now we can say you keep a um, butchering creature and now we take also a fuel stove and the fuel stove will I said I, that's wrong I don't need it fueled I need it electric and the electric stove should work as well with our electricity which now it I told you guys, I told you, it's gonna be an issue. <laughs> guys, wakey wakey, everything is burning here. Yeah, a damn lightning hit the palm and now everything is burning. Jesus, look at this. And I have only two um, colonists. Man, that's so bad. I need to expand this uh, home area so that they really try to clean everything here. Jesus, it's so bad. We are living in the jungle, you know, a fire can be very dangerous and I, I forgot to create um, a line. Let, let me do one thing. So far I cleared this as a home area, so I don't want my, my colonies to go north, they have to contain the fire south. It's raining. Thanks God. Thanks God. That was so bad. That was so bad. Oh yeah, yeah. We need the batteries. We need batteries. We need uh, a power supply uh, line, and then everything will work. And concrete all around so in case when we have those fires the wooden wall of our buildings will not uh, you know so we have here a lot of marble that's why I'm going to take in the production um, mm -hmm -hmm, a stone cutter table and we will uh, cut a lot of marble uh, so we will have uh, actually bricks and then we need to 
pave this area a little bit and create let's say a fire fireproof um, area and I thought the beginning to use wood in order to create my first palisade I think I will skip it I will just take marble blocks uh, do it until you have uh, 2000 it's too much I would say one 1000 is all right the little problem here no one is a, is a crafter except of Zebu, which has a three, and Zebu will take now uh, the priority. He must cut blocks until he drops. <laughs> okay. I see that some someone has no uh, nothing to do. So nothing to do means you go and chop wood. Ting ting. What? Whoa, 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 wait a moment. We don't have enough electricity, it seems like. <laughs> because we have an indoor of two degrees now, due to the fact that only one cooler is working. Okay, I, we might have an issue. Let's build our first wind turbine. Um, this area might, uh, this area looks fine because actually we cannot use it anyways otherwise so no yeah but let's use it from the other side perfect obviously I will have my battery rooms here then somewhere here Minus four, minus five at night, but only one cooler is working, so I need to be careful. I need to be careful. And regarding the the blocks, uh, I, I think I will need some time. Jump to the location, Preacher. We have a new raider. He's actually very bad. I don't like him. Is he assaulting us already? Not yet. Because I want my guys to sleep a little bit. Maybe I could do. Uh, where is the? Where are the defense securities? Uh, I could build some barricades um, here behind uh, behind the um, the fields. Okay, they start the assault. Zebu can go here behind the barricade. Let me see that. It's a wooden barricade. He has no firearm, but uh, we should be we should be able to hit him as soon as he crosses our fields. And the rifle should be precise enough. No, we are too little, too late. We are not able to reach the area. Barrel, go out of here. Very good headshot. Very good. He's gonna die in nine hours. It's alright. Can we shoot? Not really. Okay. Uh, he has a he has a melee weapon, but uh, oh shit! I don't tell me that we are gonna die like this. Yeah. Perfect. Ting Ting, please rescue Zebo. Now he's dead. Zebo is not dead. He has just a very bad food poisoning. I want to see if Ting Ting can use his psychic powers to restore him. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. How can I do that? Yeah, she did it! Zebo is awake. Oh man. Um, equip your rifle and then go and sleep. Man, this is wonderful. Now she has some psychic entropy, but you can see now when it goes to zero, there is no problem anymore. This is wonderful. So, Ting Ting, our doctor, can restore with psychic power also. Wow, no, not, not always. That's a problem. Rescue. It, it, yeah. Why are we have a we have a medical bed what the f what the hell 
I have ever. However, it's fine. Probably when she will level up or something, she might be more useful. But so far, it's great that um, someone which is totally incapacitated could just stand up and walk away for a while. Even if it's just five seconds, it's all right. If I didn't pick the rifle, probably I would have been able to, to move him to the bed. Did we cure everybody? Not really. Not really. Uh, please, you should tend ba to bury. No, okay. There's nothing to do. Psychic can go over. Uh, consciousness 80%, hunger rate, tyrant does. Ah, okay. After using the psycho powers, then you have this kind of hangover. I, I understand. Good to know. Good that we tried, but next time we should be more careful, probably. Here the meat is spoiling every time. We need more power. We absolutely need uh, this wind turbine to, to function. But the raid didn't help us. And then the food poisoning either. Let's speed up a little bit. No, it doesn't work. Pity. to refuel my generator. That's not good. That's not good at all. I think that the problem I cannot speed up because Zebo is really is doing very bad. But I need to be careful because those meals will spoil in seven hours. We're talking about six meals and then we have 21 package meals that will not spoil but our food then is going to just expire. Bad, very bad. We, we we need for sure a fourth colonist because now we would be able to feed him without problems and defend him, but or her, him or her. But um, we need a couple of extra pair of arms. Hmm. Fine. Now the boy is. Uh, is awake. Wonderful. Tintin is cleaning instead of uh, cutting trees. And that's actually something I really don't like. Because cutting trees now is a priority due to the fact that those trees are preventing the wind turbine to work. Zebo is still sick. He still has bruises. His sight is uh, um, damaged because he has a mangled scar on the right eye. Very bad, very bad. And now we have also Ting Ting in a... Oh, we have her in a, in a food binge. The good news is that we have some wind, so the turbine is now providing enough electricity to freeze once and for good uh, our... Let's say minus seven. Our frozen stockpile. But really, I, I want to have a little bit more power. So Beryl could cut another couple of trees and then things should be... Exactly, now things are going way better. Perfect. I think that tomorrow <laughs> we might be able to um, start uh, storing our electricity in, in batteries. And I will deconstruct this passive uh, cooler. I will include a normal cooler and uh, deactivate this thing. Another one for real. Lobster. We have another raid. She's kind of good actually. I would need her. 
Uh, I will try to, to capture lobster this time. I hope it works. Which means that if she's very severely um, injured, I will not shoot at her, but I will try to attack her with bare hands. If it works, it would be great. Then we can again create, uh, maybe we can create uh, like a room between those two and uh, assign it as a prison, temporary. This could be an idea. Look at this, I, I didn't realize there was a huge fire here and I didn't notice that. Wow, I've been lucky that it didn't approach my barracks. Wow, 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 wow. Zebo has no rifle. For real, guys, this is so bad. Okay. I, I think we should try now a melee attack because she's really, really uh, injured. And at the same time, I will block this area. And trying to uh, move the bed, reinstall it here and create the prison. Ting Ting will do that. Resting, no way. We killed her. Ah, again. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. We keep going as it is. So much work to do. So little time. <laughs> well, at least we have our kitchen. And we secured the food uh, for a long time. It's also true, in this kind of biome, it, food is not a big deal. Because you can hunt as much as you want. You can, you can grow food whenever you want. Uh, but... Um, I would like to start a very big colony and rely on a stable food supply. So I think if I have a kitchen and uh, a big uh, stockpile area, that's kind of okay. Finally, we have our batteries. That's just beautiful. I'm not going to waste uh, resources and build anything weird. I will build my batteries uh, in, the, in the stockpile number one. But I need now uh, steel, as you saw. But luckily we have it here, so. The only problem is that two guys are working, one is like resting. But when we will have three batteries, they will be full. No problems with electricity. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Heat stroke, who has an who has an heat stroke? Zebo. Why? Because it's 44 degrees here. That's why. Pfft. I build again another passive cooler. I think it's the best solution here. And need more wood, I see. Okay, fine. Cut those bamboos and then build the passive cooler. I think uh, that should work. Okay, great. Okay, now the indoors of the hospital, as it as, as they say. Um, now it's 37 degrees Celsius and that's okay. Here is 17, that's also beautiful. Outside is 29. Obviously the fact that we have a food fire generator here is not the best for a hospital. I need to, this is a temporary solution, so. As soon as possible I will create a second wind turbine and then a third one and then maybe some solar panel then we should be fine for a while.
Yay, we have batteries. At least one. <laughs> they, and they're not storing anything because we don't have enough energy. The wind is so little now. Yeah, 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 yeah. The wind is the wind is blowing, guys. The wind is blowing. The battery is filling up. Yay! We managed. <laughs> Almost. Man, how much time do you need to recover? I mean, it's just a bruise. It's a pity because now he has a big issue with his eyes, uh, with his right eye. He cannot see properly. That's a big, dish, big issue. Okay, so the battery number two is also done. Uh, we need a little bit more uh, steel and then also the battery number three will be done. I built three batteries instead of one because then for a while we should be okay. We would just need to build more uh, wind turbine now. Wind turbines in plural, not only one. I think this should be okay. And then I obviously need to uh, clean up all this area. I might also consider to use some concrete here to prevent any tree to grow back. As we need time. The good news is that here we have medicines now. We have herbal medicines. In case we finish the good one, we, we can still cure ourselves, which is great. And we have also some cotton, which we could use uh, for every other purpose. Like, we could build furniture, we could build... Um, uh, we, we could craft clothes. And for a little while I will not research anything, I need to build my walls. So I need an extra... All the support I need. Okay, the two covers are still there. There are no panthers left. That's that's great. That's actually very good. Hmm. We're going to have an issue with the, with the, with the resources. Because compacted steel is not so common around here. Or at least, there is not so much... I mean, I can see all the compacted steel and I think that's it. What is this? Sense on large steel. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Does it have like a beauty level? 16, which is horrible. If I claim it, can I deconstruct it? Yes, sure. I could take a lot of sandstone out of it. Okay, let, let, let me claim all this stuff here. And uh, the constructors. Because I need the bricks. I need the bricks for my walls. I can craft them, of course, but if I manage to, to take them, it's even better. I might have enough material later. Okay, that's it. Wonderful, wonderful. This is all interesting. This is actually perfect. Because you see, now we have a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of material we could use. Also the, also the floor. Yeah, we can remove this floor. Wonderful. Perfect. Perfect. Soon we will have a lot of blocks and uh, we'll start building our walls. We could start already. We have 111 sand blocks, a little bit slate, a little bit marble, a little bit sandstone. Sandstone is what we need. With 
with five blocks for example we could start building here the first part of our walls for example which is not bad at all is this gold oh yeah i love it hmm what is this? Ah, the drape, I saw that before. Um, let's claim also this stuff and deconstruct it. Okay, now we are working with our full capacity, so that's wonderful uh, that we could uh, use some material and, and build, start building our, our walls. Nevertheless, we don't have a lot of it, so... It will take a while, it will take a while, but at the same time, if we manage to have some people... Oh, I forgot one extremely important thing, extremely important, Jesus, uh, cook simple meal. Do it for, do it until you have uh, 100 meals. And that should be a very high priority. I think from Zebu, yeah. Because we have a lot of rice, 903, which is great, but we need food, we need to have real meals. Oh, yo, yo, be careful because this is the beginning of a big fire, I tell you. Okay. Transport pod crashed. Judel. Is she dead? Nope. Ting, ting. Rescue her. I hope she will join us, but we will discover it next time. So tell me what you think about this uh, uh, this game, uh, about this run. Actually, what would you do if you were in my shoes? And uh, again, thank you for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if this video was entertaining. And see you next time. Always here in the jungle aristocracy in the city of Kronia. Bye.